Well, let's get a little more now on those protests in the Netherlands over the country's reimposition of COVID-19 rules and restrictions. Our reporter, Fernand Van Tet, is in Amsterdam for us. Uh, Fernand, good to see you there. There have been lots of uh, violence, of course, over the weekend in several towns, uh, the Hague and Rotterdam, whose mayor described the events as an orgy of violence. Why are so many people so angry? So this is the first full weekend of uh, this partial lockdown measures coming into force. That means bars and restaurants have to close at 8 p.m. And also that sports events are not allowed to have any spectators. So in Rotterdam, for example, it seems that supporters of the football club Feyenoord were a big player in those protests. And that has also coincided with the announcement last week that there will be no fireworks allowed to be set off on New Year's Eve. Now, that is a huge tradition here in the Netherlands. Um, but the government has said due to the rising number of COVID cases. They don't want the additional pressure on hospitals that any victims could cause. So those two things really coinciding um, with um, basically mostly peaceful protests escalating with protesters then using those heavy, violent, uh, heavy fireworks which are going to be banned against the police. So Finan, what's been the government's response to this? Are, are they going to increase their efforts to try and convince people that you know, these restrictions and rules are the right way to do things? Or are they just determined to just coerce people, as it were, or some people are claiming? So the justice minister has been very clear that this is criminal behavior that has nothing to do with demonstrating, and over 100 people have been arrested over the past few days. And if you look at the rhetoric the government has been employing, it's very much a focus on the people that are not vaccinated should get a shot in order to protect everybody. And one of the ways they're trying to increase pressure is by um, introducing 2G measures, which means only those people that are vaccinated or recently recovered can partake in public life. A legislative amendment is actually being introduced to that effect today. And although a slim majority of the Dutch population has been polled and says it is supportive of those measures, it's unclear if that will actually get through the House. Now, meanwhile, cases here continue to rise, close to 20,000 defectors a day, and the number of people in intensive care units still rising. And so actually we're t hearing talk now of more serious measures being imposed, perhaps a longer lockdown, including the closure of schools, and that could last all through the winter.